IKFK blending is a powerful way of taking advantage of both inverse kinematics and forward kinematics in the same rig. So what I thought we could do is take a look at how we could go about setting that up. Now for this example, I'm using the same setup that I used in the Make Joint Chain movie, so make sure that you check that out if you want to see an easy way for setting up an IK chain with pull vectors and everything ready to go. It's kind of like a one-click solution. So as we can see here, if I grab uh, the goal here, I've got my IK set up. Now, what if I wanted to have IK and then at some point during the animation I wanted to switch to FK then back to IK and then even if I wanted to keep going back and forth well I can do that with IKFK blending so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set that up I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this joint and go over to motion options and I can see that that's where I've got my goal and my full-time IK going on and right here it says IKFK blending and it's at 0% so it's using 100% IK and 0% FK if I click the envelope button I get the graph editor and I can go ahead and start setting some keys so I'm just gonna say at keyframe 30 we want to go 100% for uh, FK for forward kinematics and then at 60 let's uh, drop back down to 0 so 0 we've got IK 30 FK and 60 we've got IK and we're doing a, a, a transition between the two so it doesn't pop so it'll be a nice transition so we're going to close that down I can go ahead and uh, close this down as well and let's uh, let's grab uh, this joint and at frame 30 it's now going to be using FK so I can go ahead and rotate that and I'll grab this joint and we'll just rotate this forward so this is all forward kinematics now if I scrub through I can see we're at IK so I'm gonna just position this so you can see the IK is uh, taking place uh, we go to FK and then back to IK so I'll just position this say um, right here okay so we got we go IK, FK, IK. Now, if you don't want to use the graph editor, one solution would be to add a slider to the scene, an OpenGL slider, so that you can uh, just handle it right in the window, which is the way I like to work when working with IK, FK blending. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, take a look at how to set that up. I'm just going to add a null, and we're just going to call this IK underscore FK, just a name that makes sense to me, and uh, go over to Object, properties and under add custom object I'm going to choose sliders double click and now all I got to do is set up my my option so I'm going to go to the end of the chain there double click for the envelope of IKFK blending and I've got this here I can choose whatever color I want and of course uh, set up some limits for the min max range but I'll go ahead and use that and click continue and in order to activate in order to have access to this slider I'm going to go over to modify sliders I can move it out of the way over here and you can see that as I scrub through you can see the slider on that um, the little mini slider here the handle is going to to move according to the setup now if I come back let's uh, go to to 90 frames instead of 60 and so we'll say that at frame 70 uh, with sliders active right here I'm just going to say I want that to be FK as well and then go to frame 90 and say I want that to be IK so without having to open up the graph editor we can just do it right here in the window and we're switching from IK to FK to IK back to uh, FK and back to IK we can just keep going back and forth and uh, it's a really handy uh, setup if you're working especially with character animation but any kind of animation that you want to take advantage advantage of both IK and FK in the same rig the IK FK blending option is perfect for that situation.